Greetings everyone. I'm Ambe Singh and today I'm with Mayus for the episode 19th of the Power Pages Quick Tip series. In this episode, we will explore how to set up the Microsoft identity providers in the Power Pages. Microsoft is one of the OAuth 2.0 identity provider you can use to authenticate visitors to your Power Pages site. OAuth 2.0 based identity provides required a client ID, required a client secret, and sometimes a redirect or reply URL. So what you have to do to set up the Microsoft Identity Provider, it's simple five steps. You have to set up the Microsoft Identity Provider in the Power Pages first. Then you create a Microsoft app registration in the Azure. Then you have to configure the parameters and publish the app. Then you will get the app ID and the app secret from there. And at last you have to enter those in the site setting in the Power Pages. Now I would like to request to Marius to show that how we can configure the Microsoft IDP for the Power Pages in a live demonstration. Over to you, Marius. Thanks, Ambesh. We will start in the um, make Power Pages Microsoft.com. Uh, here under the new security section, you will find the identity providers. And this lists the identity providers and down here we have Microsoft. Usually you would, you would have the configure button, but of course I've prepared it. So we will see the same screen by selecting edit configuration. And here you can already see the general settings of OAuth 2.0. They all need a client ID and a client secret. And those I have from portal.azure.com and here, well, let's start over, you will find Microsoft Entra ID. So maybe you have it here, maybe you have it in the site by here, or you just search here by going with Entra and then you will find Entra. Here you have app registrations on the left, and then in your own app applications, you will create a new registration. I can give it any name now, and then I have an important decision here. So I can have accounts in my uh, directory. So this would be for internal users. Basically, you make a page for your own, uh, own employees uh, and maybe guest users. Then you can have in any organizational directory. So this is more for business partners. And then you have the uh, option here with um, other partners and personal accounts or only personal accounts. So this is more the business to customer side, the personal accounts with like at outlook.com addresses and so on. So I would stay with the organizational ones um, and then you enter here in redirect URI. You have uh, this redirect URL in the uh, configuration up here. So basically it's the site name and then at the end sign in minus um, Microsoft. And this goes here. So then you register the app and then there are two more things. So if you've missed the step with the, uh, with the URL, this is under authentication. You will find here the web one I just entered and with add platform, you can um, add the web uh, one if you if you skipped it somehow, or maybe we had the, um, the option of you uh, give a custom URL to your power page. And then this of course changes because it's not .powerappsportals.com anymore. So you want to have a new URI. And what you will also need is a client secret. And then you just give it any name. Remember these run out after some time. And then you see here a value and a secret ID. And what I want to point you to is that the official docs, which are over here, they explain that you need to copy the secret ID but in reality, you need the secret value. So this thing right here, not this one. Uh, this is cur uh, currently wrong. I've submitted a pull request to change it, but it's still open. So um, what I will show you next is what I've already configured because we have this already set up, as you can see here over in Power Pages. So the client ID 
is from here in the overview of my existing app registration. And then the secret is from over here. Also notice, I can't see the secret value anymore. And I will never be able to see it again because once it's saved and you've reloaded the page, it's gone. Um, but you can always create a new one. So if I give it another name, I can have two secrets at the same time. So this is especially important if your uh, secrets run out after some times, you can some days earlier, maybe a week, uh, you can already generate a new secret, put it in the power page, and then you have a, uh, enough time to let the old run run out. And now you can see here, I can copy it to the clipboard and it would also work. So now let's go to power pages again. We will test this and I will switch quickly switch my screen. So this is um, the power page we were just talking about. I can click sign in, which will take me to account or, or slash sign in. Um, and then I have here the Microsoft sign in available. And this will bring me to my login of Microsoft. So I will take this one from my organizational directory and to the password and confirm the multi-factor authentication. And then you will see I'm logged in. And even this con uh, this this user did not exist before. So this was basically a registration I did. I will show you in a second how that worked. Um, but we can see, okay, it mapped the email correctly, but for example, the first name and last name are missing. So we will need another quick tip about claims mapping, how you can set the first name, for example, with the registration already, but otherwise the user can just enter it here. And then update. And then the profile is saved and I'm logged in. Because then we can take a look at the contact. This is the situation before I just logged in because I never hit refresh. And if I now refresh and over here we see the Marius Wodke um, that I just logged in. So with my first name and last name I enter to the profile page. And with web authentication uh, we can see that this got a username, probably something like the object ID from uh, Entra. And with that, over to you, Ambesh. Thank you so much, Mayas. It's really a wonderful demo, which remind me that, okay, how easy is to configure, but there was a lot of kiosk around the community that, okay, no, if you need to configure the Microsoft identity providers or any identity providers, take a lot of time, a lot of testing required for that one, a lot of steps required. No, it's quite simple. You can configure the whole thing in maybe in less than five to 10 minutes if you have everything handy with you. So it's quite easy. Another important thing while processing the video, we won't process or we won't blur the client ID in the client secret, although we will regenerate it because sometimes there is an ask from the community of how the client ID in the client secret look like. Um, so they can, when they are setting up, then they can able to match it. Although those are the auto-generated alphanumeric values, uh, it won't be same ever never. But just for the audience, uh, we are not going to blur the section, but we will regenerate it so it cannot be used after this uh, recording. Also, please note if you add uh, or if the user will use or add the custom domain name, or if you want to change your site base URL, please remember you must need to set up your identity providers to use with the correct reply URL again. How my has already shown them, so you can just uh, go back, see how and where he mentioned about that you can go to the web and then update the new URA there. At the last, this is really important because the Microsoft app used this reply URL to redirect user to your website after the authentication. So if you change this, you have not updated in the app registration, your login will fail and then you can't be proceed from there. So please stay tuned with this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the video with your friends and the colleagues who are having the same skill sets like you or want to deep dive in the power pages. We will be coming up with the more interesting tips, knowledge sharing and the lesson learning around the power pages. Also, please leave your comments. Also, keep your eyes on the descriptions. If we update anything from the 
documentation prospect is so we won't recreate the videos, but we will put those updated information or important information in the video description there that at least we can ensure it till that. Have a nice time and happy learning. Thank you so much.